Our new Wednesday night Bible study is going on over at the church office, which is next to the center market, 6.30 on Wednesday nights. Have a great time studying God's Word and you know, healing our hurts happen, hang up that way too. Yeah, baptism next week. Another glorious day. A big baptism tonight, and uh, we are going to celebrate life change forever. If you're interested in that, please see Pastor Kathy, and she can help you out with that. And uh, the men came to rising, uh, not this Tuesday, but the next. We're meeting at 5 3 to go uh, hang out, have some guy time, and see a movie. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, go see Bill about that. And I think that's it. Okay, let's pray though before we go any farther. Lord, we again thank you for this glorious day. I just thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Father God, for letting him come down here so you can save us all and save the world. Thank you, God, so much for this day that we celebrate you. Thank you, God. In your name, amen. amen.
possible through Christ. And Jesus um, said these words in Mark 10, 27. Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Our sins can be forgiven. We can live a completely new life. We can have life here on earth, and then we have eternal life with him in heaven someday. And that's our message, and that's why we're taking an offering today, is that we want the world to know that all things are possible with Jesus. Um, would you pray a blessing with me? Lord, I just uh, thank you so much that all things truly are possible, that you have given us your strength and your power so that we can overcome anything that we go through in life. And God, we thank you that your blessing is on us. And Lord, that you would take this blessing of this offering today and that you would just use it uh, to give other people hope that all things are possible through you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Life. For God did not send his... For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only Son, Jesus. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God, in his grace, freely makes us right in his sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. For God presented Jesus as a sacrifice for sin. He delivered him into the hands of sinful men who crucified him on a cross. He paid the price for our sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. So we are made right with God through faith and not obeying the law. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So it happened in the last days of Jesus' ministry on earth, Jewish leaders brought false accusations against him in an attempt to have him put to death. We now join the archangels Gabriel and Michael as they observe the events of those days while awaiting orders.
Gabriel. The throne room is silent. Shh. No, my friend. The cross is silent. Listen. Don't you hear? The sobs coming from the throne room. The tears. Listen. Hear the Father's anguish. I hear it. I have not seen him in this kind of pain before. Have you? Not like this. But he is the Almighty, the great I Am, Alpha and Omega. Why does he choose this pain? For them, it is the only way to save them. He loves them that much, even though they don't understand? He does. His love is perfect. Well, what do we do now, Gabriel? We wait. I want to fight! Right? You always want to fight. I know, I know, that's your purpose. But I'm starting to feel like this one's not your battle. We will stay ready. So everything is ready? Yes. All eyes over. It should be almost time. I believe so. He is still in there, but the word says on the third day he has risen from the grave. Then it shall be so, and we are ready. And we wait. Some more. It is him, the risen man, who took away the sins of the world. Holy, 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 are you Lord God Almighty? Well done. You stood watch while I was gone. We are ready to fight, my lord. Oh, Michael, you will have a battle in due time. The most important order of business right now is the message. Gabriel, you will post two angels here at the tomb. They will tell those that come seeking me that I have risen and to spread the word. Yes, my Lord. Gabriel, be sure to tell the angels you select that this is the most important message in all of history. I will, my Lord. Michael, in a short time, you and your troops will begin a series of battles to protect those on earth that will spread my message. The message of my love and salvation must reach the corners of the earth and will require you to be battle ready to ensure that it reaches everyone. Yes, my Lord. Spread the word. I will be back in the throne room soon. There are a few things I must do here first, but then I will be with my father again. It is okay, Michael. There are some who love him. No time to send for the shepherds. Help me out, Michael. Who are you looking for? Why do you seek the living among the dead? He's not here. He is risen. Remember how he told you he would be crucified, and on the third day be risen again. Go and tell the others, He has risen! He's risen again! He's risen again! Woo! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! He's risen! He's risen. Where is your scene? 
It is I, Jesus, who conquered sin and death once and for all. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my words and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed from death to life. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even though he dies. Do you believe this? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. The water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. For whoever believes in me, as the scriptures has said, streams of living water will flow from within him. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I give them eternal life. No one can snatch them out of my hand. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I tell you the truth. He who believes has everlasting life, and I am the bread of life. I am the true vine. I am. I am the healer, deliverer, who sets captives free. I am the holy and righteous one. I am the author of life. I am the Christ, the son of the living God. I am the king of kings, the Lord of lords, your friend. I am the lamb of God, the son of the most high, your merciful savior. I am the Lion of Judah, the Cornerstone, your teacher. I am the Prince of Peace. I am the Sovereign Lord. In me you will find all freedom. Follow me. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. <coughs> Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. I told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. I chose you. Love each other. What do you want me to do for you? You are forgiven. Lazarus, come forth. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Be healed. Quiet. Be still. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. If 
the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I am with you always. Who do you say that I am? On this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not overcome it. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I with them. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. You are forgiven. Go tell your family how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you are spirit in their life. I am the Alpha and the Omega, who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, but behold, I am alive, forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and hell. The prince of this world now stands condemned. It is finished for you. I chose you. I know you. I forgive you. I love you.
Savior. Our Savior has the scars in his hands of taking the nails for us on the cross so that we could forever know his presence in our lives, that we could forever have God's help in our life and God's love and God's healing. And all we have to do is invite him into our lives and to ask for that healing. Because our Savior is risen. It tells us that he is at the right hand of the Father and he is praying for us. Our wonderful Savior. And today we're just going to have a time of prayer. I'd like to invite um, Pastor David and Pastor Rachel to come up front. And if you just have something that you would like healing from today, or just something that, that you want to pray about today, or maybe you want to meet this Savior, and you want to know what that resurrecting power is like in your life, and you can do that today, and you can bring all your scars and let the Savior heal you. Also, Pastor Jesse and Alice are in the back, too, if you'd like to pray with them.